Hi friends! I'm so excited to talk about a story from the Bible with you today. But first, we're going to practice our memory verse. It goes like this. Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Joshua 1.9 Great job! Now I want you to find your grown-up in the room, point to your grown-up, and say, you're my grown-up. Say the memory verse together, except this time, I want you to say it with your tongue sticking out like this. Can you do that? Great job, guys. Now let's talk about our story from the Bible. And we know since our story's from the Bible that it's absolutely true, absolutely true. Everything the Bible says is absolutely true. Great job. Today, our story is from the book of Exodus. We are gonna learn about a man named Moses. Have you heard of him? Through Moses' story, we're gonna learn that God is always with us. Our true story goes like this. A long time ago, there was a king in Egypt he was not a very nice king. He made all the Israelites to be slaves and wanted all the newborn babies to be killed. Oh no! One of the Israelite women gave birth to a special baby boy. She wanted to protect him, so do you know what she did? She hid him. She placed him in a basket and put him in the Nile River. His older sister Miriam went to and watched to make sure that he was safe. Guess who else was with Miriam's baby brother protecting him? God was. God is always with us. Moses went to live with Pharaoh's daughter in the palace, and that's where he grew up. Who was with Moses when he was growing up in the palace? God was with him. After Moses was grown, he did some very bad things that made the king of Egypt mad. Moses had to run away from home. He ended up all alone in a place called Midian. He may have felt alone, but he was not alone. God was with him. Moses may have felt alone, but who was with him? That's right, God was with him. In Midian, he met a family who took him in and made him part of the family. He married one of the daughters and took care of the family's flock of sheep. Do you know what a sheep sounds like? Meh! Good job! Just as God was with Moses when he was a baby, when he was growing up in the palace, and even when he had to run away, God was with Moses when he was taking care of the sheep. One day, as he was leading the sheep, he came upon a mountain. On the mountain, he saw a burning bush. The strange thing was, the bush did not burn up. Moses got closer and someone called to him from the bush. Do you know who it was? It was God. God told him to remove his sandals, for he was standing on holy ground. God told Moses he had heard the cry of the Israelites who had been treated badly by the Egyptians. God told Moses that he would be the one to lead the people out of Egypt into the Promised Land. God promised to always be with Moses and his people. Just as God promised to be with Moses, God always promises to be with us too. I think this is a really good time to stop and talk about the amazing story that we just heard. Grown-ups, pause the video when the question pops on the screen so that you can talk about it together. Just as God was always with Moses, he is always with us too. Because we know that God is always with us, we don't have to be afraid because we are never alone. He will never leave us no matter what we do or where we go. You may be thinking, is God with me when I go to Chick-fil-A? Yes. Is God with me when I play outside? Yes, again. How about when I go to sleep? Is he with me then? Of course. I don't know about you, but I am so thankful that God is always with me. And God is always with you too. After the video, take some time thanking God for always being with you. Thanks for joining us. See you next time.